All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be giving you guys my honest review of the resort. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and divide it into three categories, food, amenities, and customer service. Now, I went there with my girlfriend the other day and I spent three nights, no, actually two nights, um, three days, yeah. So I just wanna give you guys my honest review because I know the reason why you're here is because you probably heard a lot of negative feedback, a lot of negative reviews about the place and you wanted to just do your own research, find out for yourself, like get reviews, see what other people think that went there. All right. So the first thing we're going to touch on is the amenities. All right. So first things first, um, the spa is not included. Let me just tell you right now, the spa is not included. That kind of sucked. Um, I wish they had said that in the package when I was getting it online, but the spa is not included. You have to pay like $90 to get 25 minutes of the spa treatment. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucked because if I had known, I would have basically brought some extra cash and stuff like that because I really wanted that. Um, the gym is there. The gym is um, really cool. It's a, it's a clean gym. It's in, the environment in there is just fresh. You know brand new equipments and stuff however you have to schedule an appointment for the gym you know what i mean like you have to go there and tell them what time you're coming and what time you're going to be leaving right um i think it's because of the whole protocols of the, um, what's happening and stuff like that um scuba diving um scuba diving is a demo basically what the demo is they just introduce you to scuba diving and you basically scuba dive in the pool that's free however if you if you want to go out in the ocean to scuba dive out there then you're gonna have to pay a hundred dollars and set up an appointment again every with all the amenities you have to set up an appointment all right wind sailing um wind sailing was free um but again you have to schedule an appointment where you go on these little boats and you know you know the big boat little boats and thing yeah the boat ride is not free um so yeah. the boat ride package is a hundred dollars so yeah. you go out in the ocean you get a nice little boat ride there's a bar out there in the ocean i don't know where that bar is um but you would have to you would get access to all the liquor all the things out there at the bar with a hundred dollars but if you choose the 70 dollar package then um you wouldn't get access to the bar you'd have to spend money there when you go out into the bar um canoeing was free however with the canoeing you have to schedule an appointment basically um what else what else other amenities are there uh, as you know the pool is there you know the pool is everywhere there's a there's like a huge pool area um but other than that um that's basically the amenities you know what i mean but for me the scuba diving was fun um it was again it was a demo but um i scuba dived in the pool and it was so f it was so much fun bro have the the tank on your back and the fit the, the things on your feet and stuff like that um i think it was really cool that was the highlight of the amenities for me um but um everything else you got to pay for it kind of sucked i wish they had told us that when we were when we were buying the package but yeah the amenities i would give it um overall i'd give the amenities a six out of ten reason for it is because it wasn't stated properly that not all of them are free and you would have to pay and schedule appointments and stuff like that I, when i went there i thought it was going to be something easy like oh can i do this i get it done right away but basically you have to schedule appointments for that um, so the amenities, I give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 for the amenities. Um, so moving on to food. Now, there's so much food there, bro. Like, there's just so much food, man. Like, yo, when I went to the, to the, the, the place where the food is, the restaurant, yo, there was just so much food. Uh, I, yo, there was everything from oysters to shrimp chicken stew peas all of the jamaican things plus international foods were also there um sushi was there a lot of things man desserts cheesecake bro dude it, it, you're gonna enjoy that it's just a lot of variety 
um it was just amazing man it was just amazing and outside of that there's there's bars everywhere there's a bar by the pool there's like three bars by the pool um there's a bar down by the beach there's liquor everywhere and the liquor is all free the liquor the food is all free um you cannot take the food outside of the restaurant you have to eat it in there you know and there's a certain time that they open you know there's a certain time to go for get breakfast there's a certain time to go get lunch there's a certain time to go get dinner and stuff like that um oh yeah um i forgot to put in the amenities that there is a nightclub um with a dj and another bar <laughs> you know what i mean so um for the food the bars bro i would give the it, i would give it a solid solid 10 out of 10 the food was amazing you're going to enjoy the food and the bar as me tell you the amount is is like it's like they want you to get drunk <laughs> you know what i mean like bars are everywhere liquor is every freaking weird dog like liquor is in the entrance there's two bars by the entrance bar down by the pool three bars by the pool um bar down by the the beach side it's freaking crazy man but for the food i'd give it a solid solid 10 out of 10. all right so the next category is customer service no as i read a lot of reviews where people had negative experiences with customer service there and when i went there honestly i did not have any well not much negative experience i mean the rooms was nice we got brought up to our rooms well no we didn't get brought up to our rooms we were just told where to go and to be honest with you i kind of didn't like that because i mean you should take us to our rooms but i think they were a bit short staff why they just told us where to go and we just went there um and stuff like that but i kind of didn't like it but it wasn't really a big bother to me um we took the elevator we actually found the room and the rooms are pretty good um tv worked we we had a nice pool view um but um one of the phones wasn't working there was a fridge there there's a jacuzzi there yo you're gonna love the jacuzzi you are going to freaking love the jacuzzi guys the only thing about the jacuzzi is that it's a little bit too small like i mean i know you're going there with your spouse um but it's it's really a little bit too small to fit two persons properly but it can work you know what i mean but um the jacuzzi is there i love the freaking jacuzzi the rooms are awesome um the only thing is one of the phone wasn't working and um basically that was it um normally when i was when i'm there and i'm walking me and my girl was walking like people would randomly stop us like people that work there would randomly stop us to say hey how you doing are you enjoying your stay how is so and so and so so like we would get that a lot like people would randomly stop us and just check on us to see how we're doing if we're enjoying the place give us fist bumps and stuff like that i completely love that you know what i mean i love that the only problem the only kind of problem that i found or the only observation i realized with the customer service is that the bartenders tend to move towards the tourists more you know what i mean like the tourists get a different glass to drink their liquor from um they get served first even if you're not there first um, that's the only thing I realized. They kind of prioritize the tourists a little bit more than the uh, than than Jamaican people. I kind of didn't like that, but I kind of understand at the same time why they do. You know, but um, other than that, um, I really didn't have much negative experiences. The bartenders, some of the bartenders were really cool. They they would talk to me, you know, um, include me in their conversations and stuff like that um what else what else what else that's basically it so i really didn't have a lot of negative um feedback but overall grand bahia principi resort i would give it a solid solid eight out of ten right it was an, an amazing experience and i'm definitely going back um i was thinking of going back this year but i'm like you know what let me try another resort to see what they're like you know what i mean so if you're planning to go there i would a hundred percent recommend it i don't know why those reviews were negative i believe they read the reviews and they fixed it oh and it was also my birthday when i went there and one of the ladies sent a free bottle of champagne for me you know i have to give her kudos for that you know she sent a free bottle of champagne for my birthday 
and I, I really appreciated that. that that lady was fun her name was Williams I don't remember her, her first name but her name was Williams she's short really beautiful and she was awesome she was an awesome agent man and yeah definitely I would give it a solid 8 out of 10 um, the only thing is that the check-in process was kind of long but because we booked online we had an easier time getting in so my recommendation guys if you're going there book online so that when you go there you have an easy transition to register because what i realize is when you book online it's way easier to just go in you go over a different side they check you in give you your keys and you just go but if you go there to book it's going to take forever. Man. It's going to take like 30 minutes. I've seen people there sitting down waiting and stuff like that. So my recommendation, book online. All right. Just go to their website directly and book through them. You, you get an additional 18% off because it was currently 50% off at the time. But when you book through their website, their website, Bahia Principe's website, you save an extra 18%. All right, so that's it for me. Um, I would give it a solid, solid, solid 8 out of 10. Definitely go there. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. And guys, remember, the spa is not free. Bring extra money if you want the spa. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys there. Peace.